So you let's, let's, let's go back to the debt exchange program. If yeah. you were in the shoes of the president, what would you have done? This is a very hypothetical question because if I were the president, we would not be where we are. Now, you are talking about the Fifth Republic, so as you yeah. mean, you Okay, know. so the Fifth Republic, if you are no. going to start... No, I'm not talking about the Fifth Republic. Yeah. I'm just using the Fifth Republic Public, as an okay. example. So, for example, if you, by, by the Good grace of God, God... And the will of the people. Yes, you have the mandate tomorrow. You yeah. come and meet the same problem. Yes. How are you going to manage it? So, like I, I said before, it is the deficit that drives the debt. So the first thing is to put the budget into surplus by cutting the expenditure. And how do I do that? I do I suggest, how do I propose to do that? You can do that at many levels at the same time. First of all, under this same condition, under this same mm -hmm. constitution, even this constitution, mm -hmm. will cut the number of ministers to 25. No but deputies. the president added more. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm telling you, he's clueless. I'm sorry to say that, but he is clueless. The president and is clueless. Of course he is clueless. You cannot appoint more when you're telling everybody, including pensioners, to have their hair cut. So you reduce the number of ministers? Yeah, to 25 maximum. And you also, for me, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is that I would... Part of the original is to take out completely all regional ministers. I'll abolish that position. And for instance, in Greater Accra, the mayor of Accra who will take care of Accra who act as who the act regional minister. minister. All of all across the country. What are they doing? The regional ministers. What are they doing? Because the regional consultative, whatever they call it, is not deliberative, it's not legislative, and it's not exactly it has no power. All the power to govern local government is with the districts. That so you is, abolish regional ministers? Our, yeah, and the chief or the most important mayor who acts as a regional minister. What are they doing? I mean, look what he's doing all right, but the work he's doing actually is always done by the mayor of Accra or the respective chief executive. So that would go, and that would take away 10 ministers straight away, and they would, <laughs> yeah, you just clear, no, 60 ministers, actually. Yeah, 60 ministers. 60 minutes, what's 60 minutes for? What country like Ghana, the size of Ghana? So it takes 60 ministers away. You come down to deputies. You cut all the deputies because I am going to have a structure where the 25 ministries will be regrouped into five related ministries. We have social, uh, super ministry, that we have things like health, education, aged care, special, whatever, five ministries, and what will happen is that we call, um, so you have those five super ministries, and the head of each super ministry is going to be a senior minister. Now, they will coordinate so that if one minister is not there, one person, other person in that super ministry will act in this place. Because they have common budget to streamline and cost, cut cost. Because there's no duplication, there's no duplication because they plan their budget together, something to the Minister of Finance. So that's one at that level. And obviously, the number of districts are carried down straight away. We don't need more than 55 minutes. The number of districts, we don't need more than 55. Why do we need more than 55? But that then goes into the... Your party people will come after you. Why? You'll be asking for positions. Well, you know... People want to ride in V8. People want to ride in V8. They want to be called honorable. Then they, then they have to work. They have to work and earn that money. They cannot depend on government to drive in, to, 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 to drive in it. Probably you have VH, but you don't work for government. I don't work for government. That's right. So there is ample opportunity for people to work by themselves and buy their things in because taking money from government or take, decide that government is going to be your source of income, your source of luxury and things in, is going to impact on you and everybody. And that's where we are today. So, we are talking, still talking about that. For me, I have what I call regionalization of uh, external relations. So we have about 53 or 55 embassies and high commissions across the globe. I'll reduce that to 25. And when you re reduce that to 25? Yes. So about five per continent, 
and I'll put those five in areas that we have good business relationship with. Because one day in Australia, I think 2007, 2008, the African community were very concerned that Australia has only four or five embassies in Africa, population of over 1.3 billion. So they were making, say, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Africa. Oh, so Australia, you have only five embassies across Africa? Yeah, four or five, yeah. They said, oh, oh, it doesn't work like that. Africa's share of global GDP is less than 2%. So we can't spend more than 2% <laughs> of our foreign bill on Africa. We just can't do that. Because you have to understand that when you put a high commission or an embassy somewhere, people have to be paid. Mm -hmm. And their job there was well to produce their pay. Their job, what they are doing, they must be engaged in such a way that whatever they get from that country should be enough to pay their own salaries and give profit to the government of Australia. They're going to borrow money from somewhere to open high commission or embassies across Africa where the functions or whatever that those uh, uh, embassies will do will not bring it in. No, 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 we can't do that. It doesn't work like that. How do we spend 10% on our foreign budget on the country that produces less than 2%? Proportional thinking. Proportional thinking. So, I'm good to cut the foreign because what do we know those things for? How many countries do we export things to? What's going on here? We even have us uh, embarrassing whatever in Serbia or something like that. What are we talking about? Now, if we are serious, we are talking about ECOWAS. <laughs> you see, if we are really serious talking about ECOWAS, why must we have embarrassing ECOWAS when we, we, we believe we are the same people? We are technically one nation. He has to have one desk at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as ECOWAS desk. Why do we need to have an embassy in Togo? What for? What for? Tell me. We have an embassy in Togo, embassy in Nigeria, yeah, embassy, embassy in Arabic uh, Coast. Uh, and they will go and say, ECOWAS Parliament. What a joke. What a joke. The ECOWAS Parliament is like the European Parliament. Because we just copy without thinking. We copy without thinking. Of course we do. Of course we do. Of course. So now, there are so many areas of cutting cost. I was talking about external trade, our external missions. I was talking about, about ministers, ministers, ECs, the yeah. regional ministers. And then, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then, you know, as a follow up, we're going to reduce the number of parliamentarians to 100. Yes, you said 200. 200. Okay, so now today we're wearing this t shirt. Um, I, I stand with the pensioners. Um, Sophia Akufu, the former Chief Justice, was part of the, uh, the pensioners who went to the foreign, uh, sorry, the finance ministry to picket. 